how do you bridge that gap between the knowledge that you have of how alternative medicine can help and heal and transform, like we're talking mentally and spiritually, and the gap between that and what you've learned? I mean, you still have to sedate people, mm -hmm. right? You still give people pain medication. Mm -hmm. That's a very difficult thing because I do live in a world where a pill is something that is expected. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's very hard for me. And so, you know, one of the things on my off time that I, I do is, is try to research homeopathic remedies. Um, for so, dental care specifically? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Yeah. But, uh, you know, in the long run, what, what's really sad in my career is that, you know, if I tell a patient, hey, you know what, we're going to do this surgery. We're not going to give you an antibiotic because that can be bad for you. Let's use this other herbal supplement. No, let's, you know, can, for example, oil of oregano. Oregano is an amazing antibiotic, and you can really? go in and see the research and shows that it stacks up against amoxicillin really, really well. Uh, you know, but does it, it leaves that... you, it leaves you smelling like a pizza, but it doesn't create antibiotic resistance and it's very oh, safe nice. to do. But now I'm in the situation that I'm doing the surgery on this patient, and if I don't give that antibiotic and they do, on the off chance, get an infection. Now it's my fault. So would you maybe give them the antibiotic that say this is an alternative for mm -hmm. you and you can choose? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So I have to do that. So medical legally, you know, I, I do want to give you this antibiotic and feel free to take that, although there are these other alternatives. Um, same thing with mouth rinses. Uh, it's, it's commonplace in dentistry to prescribe a mouth rinse called chlorhexidine, which is a, a really powerful antiseptic. But that sounds very artificial. It's disgusting and it stains your teeth. But that's common dental practice. Oh, very common practice. Uh -huh. You know, in the last eight years, we haven't been prescribing that. Why? When you look at the research, it shows, okay, how does chlorhexidine stack up against salt water? And that's only moderately more effective. Now, salt's one of the oldest antiseptics we have. Yeah. That's how we used to cure meats. That's how we still cure meats. Well, even with the hydration, away. right? Like if you add a little salt to your water, yeah, you're more yeah. hydrated. Absolutely. So yeah, there's, like, there's many uses for salt, but yeah. in our case, in surgery, we use it as an antiseptic. And so I'll tell patients to go home and mix up a cup of water with a teaspoon of salt. Use that as their rinse. It's much less caustic to the soft tissues and the patients feel better.